Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah. Ten months ago, I made a video titled William Hornby, the dude with feeder vibes. He has seen that video and made a response to it, and today we're going to be taking a look at that. I did go in on William a bit hard in that video, so I do apologize for that. I was a bit harsher back then when I first started making this style of content. Was I too harsh on him originally? I don't know. Let's take a look. Before we dive in, I must first apply comb to mustache. William Hornby gives off such feeder vibes. Okay, is that your impression of me? I do have a black t-shirt uh, like that, so... I'm sorry, what? Oh, you give off feeder vibes, like you're trying to get other people fat for your own sex deviants. What? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let me clear this up. Uh, when I used the phrase feeder to reference this person, I was using it casually in passing because somebody in my comments used it to describe this person, so I used it. Um, perhaps that's my own fault. I guess I shouldn't have said that, but... Uh, Let's really break your accusation down, shall we? I don't know if I would call it an accusation more than just like a passing comment, really. My eating disorder recovery page that promotes eating disorder recovery and unconditional body acceptance is actually just a ploy for me to get the population fatter and myself fatter for my own sex deviance? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that, you make me sound crazy, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that deep. Um, it was a passing comment that somebody made, so... Yes, that's exactly what I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you pinching your non-existent mustache right now? Oh, my. I didn't realize I should be twisting my mustache when I speak. That's a good idea. I'm saying, on this page, where I've, I've never said anyone. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm not accusing you of doing that at all. What are you talking about? You're getting a little nutty. That's what I'm doing? What? No. <laughs> Alright, man, let's clear the air right here, okay? William has a page that's about eating disorder recovery. Uh, for people that are recovering from EDs, such as Anna and other restrictive EDs, totally respect that. Um, but what I don't agree with is the idea that like just because you had a restrictive ED I don't think it's a good idea to exchange one ED for another like just because we used to have a restrictive ED Doesn't mean we need to go and indiscriminately put whatever we want in our mouth without thinking about it I understand that you have issues because you're recovering from whatever sort of ED But that doesn't mean that we need to swap one ED for another right? We don't need to swap Anna for binge yeah. Well, is is that how I sit back? That's what I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> I love your impressions of me. This is the best. This is me. This is how I chill. Honestly, I kick back like that. I cross my arms and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, son. When I first started making this type of content, I was a bit harsher than I am today. And I did go in on William a bit harder in that video than I would today. Today, I would review his content in a completely different manner. Well, actually, it sounds like you fetishize fat people. Me? How dare you? And you see fatness and fat bodies as inherently hypersexual and... What? <laughs> Alright, I feel like we're losing the mark now, William. All right, man, I was on board with all that other stuff, but now you're getting a little nutty. <laughs> Maybe you're ashamed of that, so you're trying to project it onto me? What? Bro, it was just a dumb video, okay? <laughs> the purpose of this channel is to poke fun at silly things that people say revolving around the fat acceptance ideology. I've covered videos from this person before where they talked about you should feed your kids fast food. It's classist if you don't or some kind of nonsense about that. Um, like some people, all they can afford to feed their kids is fast food and all this other wacky stuff. So this person puts out a lot of questionable content and they're subscribing to the ideology that I used to have a restrictive ED. So now anything goes. If I think about what I'm eating or doing at all, we're going to tumble down the rabbit hole of restrictive ED. 
therefore everything is okay all the time. And I have to disagree with that. My original video was harsh about this person, but I stand by what I say in disagreement with all of their ideologies. What? No. <laughs> that is how I talk. What? No. How dare you, William? And hey, I'm not one to king shame. Dude. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> take it easy. You're a feeder. Good for you. I am. Okay. Now you take it easy. Dang it. You got me. So this is a very bizarre... <laughs> <laughs> this is a very bizarre response. Um, you know, like I said, I feel bad because I was a little a little harsh on William in my original video. But um, this is a very bizarre response. Um, I wasn't, like, literally accusing anybody of doing anything. Now you're saying that I'm a feeder? Oh my goodness, how did he know? I actually am a feeder. You know what I want to see you guys eat? A subscription to my channel. <laughs> Does that work? Is that a good segue into a subscription shill? Bodily autonomy is important, and consensual engagement in kink is a part of that. What? <laughs> Hornby, <laughs> you're getting wild, bro. Take it easy, man. Oh, my goodness. But I am not a feeder. Okay. All right. I, I, don't, I believe you. I don't know why we did all this. And the fact that you're sexualizing me and any of the... I ain't doing that to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Dude, I ain't doing nothing to you. I ain't doing none of that to you, bro. You're getting crazy now. You're getting a little nutty there, Willie. Is it just me or is this a really weird response? <laughs> Fat people who follow me for what is, again, eating disorder recovery content. I don't think that we should exchange one ED for another. Just because we have Anna or whatever kind of restrictive ED doesn't mean that we need to indiscriminately throw whatever into our mouth and we can never think about the nutritional content of the food that we are consuming. Right? <laughs> Am I completely off the mark here? It says far more about you and your shame around your sexuality. Dude, why do you keep bringing that up? <laughs> Quit making this conversation about that. <laughs> I'm not trying to make this conversation about that, dude. Then it does about me, my sexuality, my intentions, and my advocacy work. So kindly, fuck off. All right, I will fuck off then. I think that was a very bizarre um, response from William there. I never tried to actualize him or anybody else <laughs> in any kind of way. That was honestly the most bizarre response that I could have received. But I'm not mad. Um, and just so you all know, William is brigading against me. He's sending all of his followers to report me for uh, whatever. I don't know, dude. I tried to reach out to William Hornby for comment, but he blocked me on Instagram. So, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I think that his response is a little weird. He brings up a lot of points that I think are a bit off the mark. Um, I wasn't trying to actualize him or anybody else or engage in any sort of F etish. I think that was a really bizarre angle to try to take to argue with me. Um, the point of my original video was that it's very strange to tell people like, just go eat whatever the heck you want, bro. If you think about what you're eating at all, then you have a restrictive ED. Basically, that's what his page is like. It's like going too far in the opposite direction. I do want to apologize to William because I did go in on him a bit hard in my original video. My intention is not to hurt people or make people sad or to make fun of them or any of that. In the original video, I made fun of the way that he spoke, and I called him a creepy weirdo, which was completely uncalled for. So I'm really sorry about that. That was unnecessary, and I was wrong for that. And I've taken the video down, William. His response is truly bizarre, um, saying I'm trying to actualize him or f etishize this or that or whatever. Um, none of that is the case. That's a very strange response. My favorite part about his video was when he kept doing this when he referenced me. Um, that is how I talk normally. He said I tried to actualize him or f etishize him or larger people or whatever. Um, clearly, that's not the case. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do here. That would be funny though if that was true, right? I'm just like into larger people and I'm making all this content because like I can't come to terms with it or something. <laughs> I'm like a total freaking mental case. <laughs> that would be funny and I do respect that. 
but that is not the case. I disagree with the idea that we need to eat whatever we want without thinking about it, otherwise we're tumbling down the rabbit hole of restrictive EDs. I completely disagree with that ideology. Hornby is the same dude who said that um, sometimes you have to feed your kids fast food and it just is what it is. Like, I've made several videos about this person, um, so we know what kind of content they make. I think that they missed the mark a bit. Um, I was a bit harsh on you in that video, harsher than I would have liked to be, which is why I've taken that video down. However, I completely disagree with everything that you say still to this day. And trying to get all of your followers to brigade against me to get my channel deleted is wrong. Which this person is doing, by the way. They left a comment on Instagram telling all of their followers to go report my channel for whatever. I don't know what for. Not cool, William. Not cool at all, my dude. Don't try to get my channel deleted. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.